So our question for today is, do you believe in the supernatural? In the supernatural? Um, yes, I do. Yeah? Yeah. Why? Why? I don't know. I mean, I definitely think there's a higher power out there. And I think, I don't know, I believe in supernatural. I feel like there's some stuff out there that we can't see. I mean, like, I was actually raised Catholic. Um, so... I was grew up believing that there was like one God. Now I definitely I don't know if like his name is God, Jesus, what, but I definitely do think that there's something higher out there. Have you ever had any encounters? Any encounters? Um No, not personally, but my brother actually did say that he has before. His grandpa, he said he like saw him in the house, like walking upstairs or something. Well, this was when he was younger. But yeah, he said that he saw his grandpa in the old house after he died. Interesting. (laughs) Our question for today is, do you believe in the supernatural? To an extent, yes, I do. What do you mean by that? I, well, I mean, obviously I believe like, um, like I believe in God and everything, but I also like, that does relate to the afterlife to an aspect, but um, I, I mean, I grew up watching Ghost Hunters and Ghost Adventures and all that stuff. So like, most of the stuff it seems kind of real, but it's like questionable. Like, I'm I'm very skeptical about it. Yeah, even okay. Honestly, I believe something's out there. I don't know where we came from. It's like it's like I said, it goes back to that skeptical like opinion, I guess. So there's, I don't think we came from the sky or whatever. I believe we came like from like from at least somewhere that as outside of this world, or at least like there's like some kind of chemical composition. It's like that's where the science comes in, but then there's more to it than that. Yeah. So it's like. I don't know. It's not proven yet, but it's like it, it just takes time to prove stuff. There's something outside of the material world. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Have you had any encounters? Personally, no. I've had people that said they've had near-death experiences. I mean, I've like almost died and then said they had near-death experiences and they described it to me as like them coming out of the body and just hovering or something, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So the question we are asking people today is, do you believe in the supernatural? I don't know what that like, is. Like, like ghosts, demons, uh, angels, spirits. Uh, I do. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. Why? Why do you believe in the supernatural? Um, I've had like some encounters where, you know, you can't really explain it. So, I mean, it's kind of left to interpretation. But I think there's something else out there that's hard to explain. Can't see it. Yeah. Do you Do you believe in maybe a god or a higher power? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It has to be. Has to be. I guess there's like too many too many things in the world that happen that could be like really good that you can't really explain that's like a like that would normally happen. So I think there's like a reasoning behind it that we don't understand. So yeah. If you think about it just it had to start somehow and I'm not saying that's the only reason, but yeah, I feel like there's a lot of evidence that points towards that right there. So Um I was it's kinda like a ghost story almost. I was at an uh, open house, so this realtor unlocked the door. We walked in. It was completely empty, vacant house. Um, like an hour in of touring this house, uh, me and my brother and my mom were sitting in the kitchen, and the realtor was facing us. And behind her, this girl, probably like 10 years old, walked by the doorway. And we all just thought it was her daughter because um, she had gotten there before us. So we mentioned it to her. We're like, hey, like, we saw a girl in here. And her look on her face was like, there's no way you saw somebody in here. We're like... I was like, what is going on here? So we looked for her, couldn't find her anywhere. And um, the, she was completely baffled by it. So that kind of freaked me out. I was like, I don't know if that was a ghost or something, but it made me think. Do you believe in the supernatural? Yes. Like what? Anything is possible. I don't really have any doubts about anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like ghosts? Ghosts, werewolves, Bigfoot, okay. all of it. <laughs> I feel like there's probably more to us as people okay. to the world okay. and beyond. Yeah. That's yeah. So, so do you think that God could exist? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> do you believe in the supernatural? In the supernatural? Absolutely. Yeah. Like what What do you deem supernatural? 
spirits ghosts um just like divine supernatural like do you believe in god or do you not believe in god there's like ghosts spirits things that were here once and then left but still energy remains okay so do you believe in god or a god or a higher power dude i ask myself that every day i have no idea like i do but i don't i'm like in between it's kind of like dr pepper is it coke is it pepsi like i'm still ambivalent no idea but i'd like to think so yeah so why maybe and not just no because there are so many like quantitative ways that people explain reality that's what science is right people will say they can take numbers and they can like quantify it mat- mathematically how our universe is created but there are some things that you just can't explain like people say the big bang theory is like the register of the universe right well that's the best theory we have. well but before that you know, where does, where, does that, where does that come from? You know, is that, yeah. just, did that just spark into existence or was there like some omnipresent being or entity that was responsible for such? So that makes me think, okay, yeah, there probably really could be. I have. <laughs> yeah. You have. Care, yeah. Oh, care to tell us about your good. ghost encounter? Yeah, absolutely. So my mom lives in Burgaw, North okay, Carolina, yeah. and that's way out in the countryside. And the home that we live in is 100 plus years old. We have no idea who lived there before us. And I came home one day and my mom was like freaked out. She told me the story about how she was like laying in bed, just just her and the dogs. And then next thing she knows, she hears somebody coming up the stairs. Someone opens the door and it's the shadow. And it's the shadow is this outline of this girl, approximately seven to eight years old. And she says, where's mommy? And then like all the dogs freak up, they freak out, they start barking. And then my mom sits up and it's gone. Okay. And my mom's kind of crazy. So I was like, Mom, you're just crazy. Like, there's no way you, you saw or heard that. You're having a dream or hallucinating or something or another. And the very, very next day, I'm sitting on the front porch with my sister. We're sitting outside. I'm reading a book. And she looks over at me, like, sits up real, class, real quick and goes, did you hear that? I was like, what? No, I didn't hear that. What are you talking about? And then five seconds later, I heard this high-pitched, squ- like, squeal, scream of, like, a child in the backyard. Like, we both heard it. We have no neighbors. We live in the middle of nowhere. There's no yeah. people out there. Um, so, yeah, that was my, like, ghostly encounter, and I still think about it to this day, and it, like, gives me chills. But it makes me think that, you know, there's, like, spirits and ghosts and, like, things, like, beyond quantitative reality that we can't quite explain. Do you believe in the supernatural? I definitely believe that there's, like, a guardian angel watching over me. Um, I believe ghosts could exist. Uh, I've never really experienced anything like that, so I can't really speak to it. But definitely a guardian angel for sure. I would, uh, I'd agree with the same thing, cause, uh, I mean, there's, there wouldn't be, uh, oh, what is that called? What are those called? The um, exorcists. There wouldn't be exorcisms if, if that wasn't a thing. Then, with all of that, do you believe in God or a God? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I'm actually Catholic, so yeah, I do. Yeah. So, with talking about the supernatural and God and things like that, do you think there's evidence to believe those things? For sure. I mean. There's relics, there's miracles, there's, I mean, there's the Bible, there's rec- records of miracles happening. Um, saints, saints aren't, saints aren't saints without miracles. And, um, I mean, I would just say that we have, there's, there's physical evidence, there's Shroud of Turin, there's, there's science. Oh, you know about the Shroud of Turin? We love the Shroud of Turin! I do indeed, yes. There's a, there's evidence today i mean we just saw notre dame burn down but i mean if you look at it the two of the big things the crucifix and the altar were were actually saved so which is pretty pretty interesting to me at least i mean just look around us you see like how glorious everything is is around us and you know you (laughs) you're pretty glorious yourself yeah um (laughs) yeah and so you see like everything around us and you know it doesn't really pop up here by chance there has to be like some type of reason behind us, and I think that reason is like the all-powerful being God.